Hey guys, so as promised, here is part two of that very long shopping day. And for this one, we are going to be heading to Hobby Lobby. And towards the end of the video, of course, I'm going to show you what I picked up from there. But if you haven't seen part one of this very long shopping day, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so that you can check that out first if you'd like. Or you can check it out after this video. You do whatever you want. But anyways, without further ado, let's head on over to Hobby Lobby. see what we can find here all right so Hobby Lobby tends to have brands that I already have but let's see if there's anything new here because um it'd be crazy not to take advantage of this sale so I'm probably gonna have to keep cutting this segment of the video because the music is pretty loud here and we can't be having any copyright issues all right so we have some masterpieces set here a 300 easy grip crow's nest chowder Ooh, i want to be there that's not a bad price too if at 40 percent off it's actually kind of loud in here i don't know how long i could be doing this video for but we'll try our best we have town and country another masterpiece is set that's beautiful we got a spring box set here under sea with the big old cute turtle got this new york city street image here that is gorgeous we got a couple of Eurographic sets here 300 count these are the bigger piece sizes here that's a beautiful image we have this brand here i don't think i've ever heard of this one this is brain tree ultra premium white puzzle board we got a nice circus image here let's see do they have any other ones from this brand ah uh, yes we have cozy porch that's actually really beautiful. And they're not very expensive at $9.99 because 40% off, I barely barely be paying anything for that. We got another one here. This is Beach Fantasy. Then we got a spring box here, toy cupboard. We have old candy store. We've seen this one before. And I really, really love this image, but I don't know, I still have two other white mountains that I haven't worked on yet. Got snack treats, delicious. Oh, check this out. We have a gallus in here. It's a 1,000 piece set. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, spring on Park Avenue. Wow, that's awesome. We have some Cobble Hill sets here as well. I haven't worked on Cobble Hill in a while. We have this one called the Happy Hen House. We have Cobble Hill Farm here. And we have Flower Truck with some more of the same dogs. What's going on here? Is this the same house? Same family? Same dogs? I don't know. We got Into the Jungle. That one looks like it'll be tough. It's pretty, but honestly not quite my style. Oh, check this out. Star Wars Thomas Kincaid. What brand is this? Oh, this is Seiko. We have Seiko already. I wonder if they have any Disney ones, actually. Check out these rose arts. These are really beautiful. It's a forest cabin home. I'm guessing the My Happy Place series. Yeah, that looks like that'll be My Happy Place. Oh, wow, look at that. This is an awesome buffalo set from Terry Redlin. Close to paradise. That does look like paradise. We have this Chuck Pinson image from Masterpieces. That is gorgeous. Colors of life. Oh, check that out. I got the gazebo ready for some snack time. I love the colors of the leaves and you just so happen to have a random owl staring at you. We have a masterpiece set from the Hometown Hero series. Let's see what else we have. We have, oh, these are the Rose Art sets. The Puzzle Collectors, 500 piece sets. It's interesting because I feel like this particular collection, didn't I get this from Dollar Tree for $3? I don't know. I wonder if this is any different at $10.99 a piece. Makes me wonder if the quality is a bit different. Who knows? We have this Rose Art set from the Chris Bigelow Country Collection. That looks like a fun time. Look at everybody having a good time. We have some sets here from Masterpieces from the Wild and Whimsical Collection. I don't know what's going on here. This is very strange. This this is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling that one. Let's put that away. Um, more dogs wild and whimsies that's for sure that's that's more like wild and strange anyways let's move on we have an aquarius set here of just people you know chilling out oh wait a minute this must be from characters from the office i've never seen that show so i if i didn't see that name i wouldn't have known that we have this set here from masterpieces shopkeepers collection that looks like fun this is lucy's first pet I'm not sure who exactly is Lucy in this image, but you know, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? It could be this one, it could be that one, whatever. Whatever you're thinking at the time. We have some White Mountain sets. 
This one's movies and drive-in movies here. And check this out. Hobby Lobby's carrying KI puzzles here. That's awesome. I do love KI. This one is called Cat Bookshelf. That's kind of crazy. We have Farm Friends. We have this one from the Reed James collection. 300 count. Oh, we have another one, Mount Cook. This, oh, they're both Mount Cook. <laughs> they're the same thing. We have this Cobb Hill 500 piece set. We have Eurographics Grizzly Cubs. I do have Eurographics at home that I really need to work on. We have this pretty Eurographics 500 count set. This one's called Country Drive. I like this one. Also got this one here, another 500 Eurographics, The Potting Shed. It looks very similar to one of my Dollar Tree puzzles. This one's called A Pie for the Parsons. More like a pie for me. Yes, please. That's beautiful. And we also have another one here. Let's get this one. This is called Sunday Morning Stroll. It's like a western looking theme there. Interesting. Oh look, we got some Seiko sets here. Got 101 Dalmatians, that's fun. What's that one back here? We have this Snow White set here. I've seen this one at Walmart a few times and I've been really tempted to get it, but it makes me wonder if Schmidt would ever carry out this particular image because if so i probably want to get it from them instead we saw this one already i have this one in a 500 piece in one of my four in one packs but i don't know i made some space on my shelves and it looks like there may be some room for a few more seco sets so i don't know we shall see check this masterpiece is said this is from the easy grip large piece collection 1000 piece in, and this box actually includes an easel for your puzzle box so that you can look at it whilst you're puzzling and that's not too bad for $15.99 especially if you're getting 40% off it we got a white mountain cereal box collection white mountain things I ate as a kid oh check this out we got some more gallus in here I think I almost think we saw this at Barnes and Nobles I don't know but if we did you're getting it at a much better price here and we have this one as well Ooh, Gallison. I might end up getting a Gallison here. And then we have some other sets here. This is Kellogg's Vintage Puzzles. What brand is this? I feel like we've seen this before. This is a Rose Art set. And this one as well. This is a cupcake set. Rose Art. And they're in the shape of cupcakes, actually. That's fun. We have Peanuts. This one here is an Aquarius puzzle of Peanuts. 500 pieces that's fun oh i love this white mountain set look at this one friends in autumn these are larger pieces this is 1000 count set as well that is gorgeous scenery is spectacular and look we have another one of these i'm trying to reach it. these crown point graphic puzzles this is really really pretty it's a very vibrant image I really need to get working on the one that I have at home, which, as I said, was this set right here. And it, this is beautiful. It, it looks, it's scary a little bit because it looks like it's going to be very challenging, but I got to get working on that. It's beautiful. And we also have this spring box, spring box set of what's on TV, an Aquarius set with friends on it. And this is from Brother and Sister Design Studio, is that the brand? It's a 1,000 piece puzzle. And check this out, we have a dinosaur shaped puzzle here as well. Yeah, I guess the brand is Brother and Sister Design Studios. That's cool. All right, everything else that's here, we've kind of seen before in one of our, la in one of our last trips to Hobby Lobby. So you know what? I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna get from here because it's crazy not to take advantage of the sale. Let's move on. All right, now for our Hobby Lobby trip, I also picked up from there four puzzle sets. And the first one that we got here, let me get my receipt as well so that I can give you a price breakdown because we did go there at a fantastic time. They were having their 40% off each puzzle set, which if you have a Hobby Lobby 
somewhere near you, I highly recommend that you check their website every now and then to see when they are having that particular sale. From my knowledge, it seems to happen quite often, but if you're gonna make a trip out there, make sure you're there when, you know, they're having that sale because, you know, it doesn't hurt to save a few bucks here and there. But anyways, one of the sets that I got there was from the brand Gallison. And this one is called Spring on Park Avenue. The artist is Michael Storings. It's 1,000 pieces and it's 20 by 27 inches when it's completed. And I've done a Gallison puzzle before, but it was from the Good Puzzle Co. collection, which to be honest, I didn't find the quality super fantastic, but it was a less expensive set. So the reason why I picked this one up was because in that video, I did say that I wanted to try what I describe as a true Gallison set. And so far from what I'm seeing, you know, just based on the packaging, there's a big difference so far. This is a lot more solid. It's, you know, really high quality. Again, they don't, for some reason, tape their box together. So I don't know. I don't know why some brands do that, actually. That's a little strange. But it does have the poster inside and the bag is completely sealed. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what a true Gallison experience is like. Because with the big price difference, I mean, there has to be a difference, right? But anyways, I mean, this image, what, what can I say? This is New York City. This is my hometown. One of my first real jobs was on Park Avenue, which was a very high-end chocolate shop. And I also just so happened to make the Italian gelato there. Of course, you know my job had to be food related. I'm probably in the background here, someone walking to work. Of course, none of these people here are me because you know, they look too rich. They, they look too fancy. But yeah, I absolutely love the art style. I love the colors. Now I almost bought a Gallison set at Barnes and Nobles because they did have a number of them there. But I'm glad I didn't because I was able to take advantage of an even better sale there and get it for even less. This set regular price is $16.99. But with Hobby Lobby's 40% off sale, I only paid $10.19, which is fantastic, really. That's an over $6 savings there. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this experience. Now, the next puzzle that I have here is from another brand that I do not ha have, and I've actually never heard of this one before. But this one is called Cozy Porch. It is 1,000 pieces and it's 27.6 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. And it's from the brand Braintree. And it says here on the box that the pieces are made out of ultra premium white puzzle board. And this just so happens to also include a puzzle poster and a Ziploc bag. Why don't more puzzle brands have this? And this puzzle is only $9.99 and, and they're offering that little extra in there. Why can't others do this? But anyways, this image, there, there's a lot going on here, but I absolutely love it because I would love to be sitting on this chair right here, just taking in the scenery. Yeah, the, the porch looks a bit of a mess and to me, at least. I mean, we got a lot going on here. There seems to be a number of random animals out and about. We have cats, dogs, squirrels, rabbits. There's even some sheep in the background. You got a raccoon dangling off the top there. We got a lot of craziness going on here, but you know what? The scenery in the far distance looks amazing. Now at regular price, this set is $9.99. But in the end, I only ended up paying $5.99 for it. That's a crazy deal. And it's really a fantastic price to pay for a brand new puzzle set. And you know, even one, that is from a brand that I never tried before. So this was a fantastic savings. If I don't end up liking it, I'm not gonna feel too bad about it because I didn't really spend much on it anyways. But if any of you have tried that kind of puzzle piece before, let me know down below what have your experiences been like with that. Now our next puzzle set is from a brand that I do actually have, but I wanted to get a different piece count for it. And the brand that I am talking about is Eurographics Puzzles. And this one is called Country Drive. The artist is Dominic Davison. It is 500 pieces and it's 19 and a quarter inches by 26 and 5 8 inches when it's completed. And I love this image because it just reminds me so much of the area that I live in. And I do love where I live. There's a lot of farmland, just like in this image. We got some cows in the background. 
And then I said to myself, this has to be my farmland. I have a great house. I have a lovely red barn. There's nothing better than looking out my window, taking in this beautiful farmland scenery. Such a beautiful change of scenery compared to the city life I grew up in. But anyways, this 500 count set has large pieces. So I'm curious to see what the piece size difference is compared to the 1000 count set that I have here, which I actually haven't tried yet. And now that I think about it, I kind of wish that I also picked up one of their 300 count sets because those said extra large pieces. And I really should have done that so that I could have compared all three of them together. But anyways, maybe I'll head back there at some point and pick that up before I do my Euro graphics review. But at regular price, this set is $14.99. And with Hobby Lobby sale, I only paid $8.99 for it. So that was a $6 savings, which is fantastic. Now I really wish I picked up the 300 piece set, but anyways. The last set that I picked up from there was one that I really didn't need to get. I mean, to be honest, I didn't need to pick up any of these really. I have tons of puzzles in my collection that I haven't worked on yet, but, but anyways, it doesn't matter. I picked up a set from a brand that I have tried and bought many, many times. And I am talking about a set from Seiko. And it is from Disney's Thomas Kincaid Studios collection. It is 1000 pieces and it's 26.6 by 19 inches when it's completed. And this one is called The Evil Queen. Now, I, I have to explain myself. The main reason why I picked up this particular set was because every time I've seen it at Walmart, it's it's been teasing me every time I look at it because I, I really want it. I really want it to get it because I love this image. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a nightmare to put together just by looking at the sky here, but it's a beautiful image. Even though I'm still confused as to why the prince is just watching everything unfold here with the evil queen trying to poison Snow White. But I mean, aside from that, I love the artwork, of course. You know I love Thomas Kincaid and the use of colors here. I mean, I've, I, as I said, I've been eyeing this puzzle for the longest now and I figured, you know what? It's on sale. I should just pick it up while it's super cheap because at regular price at Hobby Lobby, it's $15.99. In Walmart, I believe it's $12.99. But with the sale here, I only ended up paying $9.59 for it. So, you know, for, for nine bucks and change, you know, I figured, What's one more Seiko set in my collection? Besides, after organizing it, I did, you know, have space for one or two more sets to kind of fill in the shelf. So now that's gonna be in there as well. So with both shopping trips, I picked up one, eight puzzle sets during my shopping spree. Now, as I said earlier, it's been like, at least a year since I did a shopping trip like this. This is very, very out of the norm for me. And I'm sure you're probably wondering how much was the total? Now, thankfully, as you know, we've been, I've been saying numerous times throughout the video, we were there during some really, really good sales. So the total spent at Barnes and Nobles during their buy one, get one for 50% off for four puzzle sets, I paid $65.14. And then during our Hobby Lobby stop, we bought four puzzles for a total of $36.85. And that came out to a grand total of $101.99 for the day. Now, don't get me wrong. When I added those two numbers up, I did get a few chest pains, but then I remembered well, none of this money came out of my budget at all, my everyday budget. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because the only reason why this shopping trip was possible was really because of you. Because of all of your support for all your, from all your views, your likes, your comments, I was able to go on a little puzzle shopping spree from my YouTube money. All of this was made possible by you. So, I mean, I know I've said this a million times before, I can't really express very well how 
incredibly grateful I am to each and every one of you. And I am very much looking forward to sharing all of these experiences with you. So a thousand times, thank you for all of your support. Now, please do tell me down below if any of you have had experiences with any of the brands that I mentioned today. I am really, really looking forward to working on all of these. So, you know, I'm curious, let me know, you know, did you see other brands during the first part of the video that you feel like I need to pick up next time? There were a number of them that I do plan to pick up in the future, but which ones do you think I should focus on more? But if you have your own puzzle hauls and shopping sprees that you would like to share with me and other puzzlers, I do have a puzzling community that you can join. And I'm gonna leave a link to that video down below so that you can check it out. And if you're new here and you wanna see me, you know, check out these new puzzle sets, be sure you're subscribed so that you could see what I have to say about them. But anyways, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Once again, thank you for all of your support and for making the shopping trip possible. And I will see you in the next one.